Hi, I'm Joe Freeman of The Oregonian. This is Mike Richmond of The Oregonian. And we are coming to you from the Moda Center on Saturday night where the Blazers dropped a heartbreaker to the Minnesota Timberwolves 106 to 105. Wild, crazy game, horrible, horrible finish for the Blazers. Uh, they didn't play very well past the first quarter. It caught up to them at the end. Uh, a real spunky Timberwolves team, a young team that's playing probably their best basketball of the season right now. They just beat the Golden State Warriors uh, a few games ago. Now they're 8-7 and seven in their last 15. More importantly for the Blazers, however, uh, after entering tonight's game with the ability to control their own destiny with a win tonight and then a win in the season finale on Wednesday, they would have sewn up the fifth seed and a date with the Los Angeles Clippers in the playoffs. Now, as Mason Plumley uh, so eloquently said, they're in wait-and-see mode and then they have to beat Denver. So right now, as it stands, if the Dallas Mavericks win their final three games, the Blazers will not get the fifth seed uh, and that uh, alluring date with the Clippers. Uh, quite simply, this was a brutal loss at a bad time uh, for a team that's striving for the fifth seed. It's not a crippling blow, though. It's still a lot of work to be done by the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, but as evidenced by the postgame locker room, that cleared out in a hurry and there was about five or six media members left at the end and no Blazers players. Uh, this clearly stung a lot more than any in, in recent memory. Yeah, so here's how we got here. The Blazers were up 10 in the first quarter, then they just were terrible <laughs> for the second, third, and most of the fourth. With two minutes left, the Blazers were down eight. They made a mad scramble at the end, six straight points to cut the lead to two, then down three with about 30 seconds left, or less than that, 15 seconds left. Damian Lillard catches the ball at the top of the key, Swipes through, gets fouled, hits a three, four-point play, and the Blazers are up one with 3.2 seconds left. This looks like classic Lillard time, and the kind of game that the Blazers would have just stolen. This would have been absolute theft. Damian Lillard said afterwards, we lost because we didn't deserve to win, and that's what happened. Timberwolves came down with 3.2 seconds left. Carl Anthony Towns got about as easy a shot as you could possibly imagine, nailed it with one and a half seconds left. Blazers out of timeouts, just threw up an 80-foot heave at the end, and that was the ball game. Uh, and, and like Joe said, this was a game that uh, while the Blazers might not want to admit that they really, really wanted to win and get into fifth, they really, really wanted to win and get into fifth, and now they're in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, and this really exposed something that could become a developing storyline in the playoffs. The Blazers have been playing their best basketball this season using a small lineup. It's their best lineup, uh, their most successful lineup. But it does have some chinks in the armor, if you will, and we saw that tonight. The game-winning play, Carl Anthony Towns, who is phenomenal and was really good all night, uh, presumptive rookie of the year, Carl Anthony Towns, yeah. uh, mutilated Al Farouk Aminu, who guarded him a lot of the night and in, uh, in most important stretches in the fourth quarter. But at the most important time, he was no match for the bigger, uh, more talented, uh, bulkier Carl Anthony Towns, and that will be something to watch. Uh, say the Blazers do still sneak in that fifth seed and have to face a guy like Blake Griffin. Can Al Farouk Aminu guard him? Can whoever they play, can Al Farouk Aminu, who Terry Stotts has called the Blazers' best post defender, can he provide enough for the Blazers to continue to feature their small lineup into the playoffs? Uh, big game on Wednesday perhaps, <laughs> against the Denver Nuggets. Uh, still a lot to be decided, though, between now and then. We'll talk to you after that game.